are that are kind of like right behind you aren't quite dry at the top. You can see like it's a little bit darker still. That's the first one we did back there. That's our best one probably. It's pretty nice. There's a grasshopper on it. Yeah, there's a little grasshopper on it. And then eventually I'll cover the base part of the footing to where only you see are the posts coming up. So you just throw a little bit of dirt over it. Mm. Stuff starts to grow, hopefully. Of course, it's all going to be covered anyways. They're Buy really tall. Thank you. <laughs> well, look at the beginning one. Yeah. So this is uh, the shortest, I think. <clears throat> I think it's 24 inches. Hmm. That's just the back of the house. Yeah, you can see how much it goes downhill. It's going to be... I mean, you can't even tell it goes downhill. The back of the house is going to be pretty tall. Yeah. Like, pretty high off the ground. Yeah, it is. Wow. You can almost walk under it. Which is kind of nice, because that's where all of our plumbing is going to be. Yeah. All the water and stuff. Oh, sorry, Eva, we forgot <laughs> about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that side might be our shortest. I can't remember. I think it may be the... I think it might be one, two. Or maybe it's one, two. Either way, that's our tallest back there. And that was the deepest, too. Hmm. So that one's like my worst that is, hole. That's almost as tall as I am. No, it's... It's from wherever the, the ground is undisturbed. It's pretty high up there. Yeah. And one thing we can do, technically, is we can come out here with just a ton of dirt and then cover it. And so you make it all level if you really want to. Oh, that would Underneath be... Underneath it. That's just, no, you don't need to do that. We're just going to be running paneling all around the sides, and then we're going to have, like, maybe a little door that opens up, which would be kind of cool. <laughs> and that's for, like, contractors, <laughs> me, I little, guess. A little hideaway door. Yeah, but um, this is our kitchen, if you remember. So, remember, we reversed everything. Mm -hmm. So, it's the kitchen area with the sink. It's probably, like, right here somewhere. Pretty sure. What do you Fridge, think? cabinets. What do you think? Neighbors. I just see dogs. And then we have the utility room. I think it's on this side. Yeah. Yes. Utility room's right there. Yeah. So Bedroom. This is closet. And then you have bathrooms. No, bathrooms. Eva, you're in the living area. Yep. And then our room slash her area or her room. All right. Uh, but what do you want to know? You haven't really been out here too much. Guess you well, can I mean, ask me questions and. I know what's going on because it's been a process. Yeah. I mean, we can look down one of these tubes. So these were cut like all the way up here. What we did was we got uh, you know one of those laser levels, and then got them out here, and then to, to find like it's transit level, so you know exactly where the height is, and that's why we know all of our heights. Um, and then. Yeah, basically all we did was, after we did this pour and got these, I think we've shown that in a previous video. Uh, we're now getting our sauna tubes, and then I'm making sure that they're in line in both directions. We've already done multiple measurements to make sure that, like, I think we measured this thing like 15 times now. Mm -hmm. At, like, confirming it mm -hmm. 15 times. Like, just throughout the process. And then even with this, every time I do a new pour, I run a line back and forth on both sides right before I do it. Just to make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. Because, yeah, whenever you do the first pour, sometimes the sauna tube moves a little bit, so you mm. can correct it a little bit. And then I make sure it's all level. You just go around it at least six times. <laughs> make sure it's level. So, yeah, everything's level. You can tell that that one doesn't have concrete all the way at the top, so I have to go back and before it dries, which it should be good. There's like a layer of water on it. And just mush some concrete down at the top at least, just to bring it up to the height. But, yeah, the process is basically mix it. Lay the concrete down there. You have to put the uh, towel down at the bottom uh, because there's basically a lot that can go wrong with the bottom. It can like push up or hmm. some things like that. So I do, do a slow pour, get it up, do a level, put the towel around the sides of it to keep it from kind of like leaking a lot of it out. Because some of it does leak out the stuff that I kind of want because then it leaves it with just rock and the harder stuff. Um, but also that helps it stay level too from the outside a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, so this you my current hole. mix, then you pour, and then what happens after all of the columns are done? What do we do after that? Uh, we wait another year. No, we uh, <laughs> probably. 
No, so uh, that's kind of where- House is almost done. <laughs> yeah, that's where uh, Eric comes in. So it's kind of out of my hands after this, uh, except for electric. There's one part of the elect like electric side of things, which is really just digging the trench. So we're gonna, and that's just a day's worth of work because we're gonna uh, rent one of those uh, ditch witches or whatever they're mm -hmm. called. And we're taking it from this post or this, this edge right over here. And we're just going all the way down. So it's uh, about 300 feet. Out yonder. Feet. <laughs> and so those that know this process and know the cost of everything that goes into what goes in the ground, 300 feet of it. So it's uh it's probably the most expensive part of it. <laughs> so far. Yeah. Okay, so we I mean breaking down all the components, you know. It's like uh, the columns are done. We did you the, did, we did the foundation for like less than a thousand, I think. All of this. And that's with buying the tools that we needed. I think. I lost count after, you know, spans of time in between each <laughs> step that we took. So So we saved money there. I had people looking over my shoulder during the whole thing, so it's not just me not knowing what I'm doing, just hoping for the best. So that, that should all be good. I like that. It should be good. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah, rent a ditch witch. And this can that can be going on during certain parts of it. Um, plumbing and septic can happen out here. Uh, it's just nice to have electricity for the people that are working on the house itself. All mm -hmm. the framing. You know, they have nail guns, takes some pressure, compressors, stuff like that. That's all electrical. Or it can be electrical. If not, we're running generators or extension cords. Which extension cords, they lose power over distance. So... Eva Grace. What happens with the house next? Like, what do they do next? Framing. They frame next. Yeah, so it's uh, the, the drying in process, you know, getting all the, the framing up. Pretty sure it's just like a bunch of light behind me, who knows? I guess you would know. So yeah, it's just uh, the framing of the house. Um, and then actually during that process, uh, you have like an electrician that can come in. And mm -hmm. They start putting in like a lot of the wiring. Uh, but then w with the framing, you also have your roof comes right after the the initial frame of course um, so that's basically it dries it in at that point and then that's when we come back in uh, but that's a little ways away so maybe by my birthday maybe by her birthday yeah yeah this will be her birthday present yeah don't worry Eva that's not gonna be your birthday present you get more than that all right you get everything <laughs> you get a house plus <laughs> it's not even our house either. everything why are you looking through there? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, we're speculating four months once we start that. So, yeah. Should be by your birthday, which is I'll, in uh, May. I won't say, be hold. married to the time. Okay, I thought you were going to say, I'm not going to hold my breath. It's like, well, well that, too. Die either way. <laughs> that too. That <laughs> too. You're going to die either way. But that's a nice tree over there. When it happens, it happens. Yeah. But just thinking about, like, hey, all that we've done just to get here. Yeah. Yeah. There, this was full of cactus. Well, now it's just over there in a pile. Mm -hmm. That's mostly Well, there's less, down. yeah. That was a lot less. We did not, like, we didn't used to be able to come out here. No, you would have to stop right there. Even that's oh. been growing. Bless you. Yeah. Bless and you. this all dies again. So this is all a grass. It, it dies every um, late winter. And then it's just, it's going to be clear again. Because mm -hmm. we cleared all of that. And then now we've Everything got some nice there. grass around here, too. Well, of course, it's, that, we have grass Remember, that was just dirt. These are blue bonnets right here. Oh. But, but look where it's going to be. Yeah. It's under the house. So I think my mom's upset about that. Oops. She loves blue bonnets. Oh, yeah, those are all blue bonnets right here. But they didn't even they have a like chance weeds. to grow before. Yeah, weeds. All right. Well. So, this is where I am. House update. That's the house update. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to be as clean as possible, you know. Carbon mm. footprints and all that. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with it. <laughs> but uh yeah, I've been working out that little spot over there. That's my little table. Yeah. I'm mean, nice. mostly over here now. It's real nice. But man, yeah, just looking back at it, you should like a little comp emotional compilation right here of just like all the all the little steps. Us clearing and then digging these holes. AJ was a part of that. Mm -hmm. We had to spray paint the square and then dig straight down. And then mm -hmm. I some of them were angled, so I had to go back and redig them further in. So I made them all bigger. And deeper, and then we had to put all the metal up, tie it all, all together, pour concrete in that, let that dry, and then I forgot what we did in between the next step. The so life happened. Circles, yeah. Oh yeah, and then we did circles, which was just recently, and then poured almost right after. What's on the tube?